This Valentine's Day, love was in the air. I love this lady. We didn't get to the where we are without being friends. She's my best friend. And on the menu, this porcupine chowing down on heart-shaped fruit at the Brookfield Zoo in Illinois. But it's these two tigers at the Ashland Wildlife Safari Park in Nebraska who are turning up the heat this Valentine's Day. Zookeepers spritzing an expensive perfume in order to encourage mating. Now number five tends to be something that really elicits a lot of behavior, uh, more so than other perfumes. If tigers are asking for $160 bottles of perfume on Valentine's Day, what do humans need to make it work? The secret is listening very well. I listen with my ears and I listen with my heart. Edward and Phoebe Lewitt. Just one of 100 couples renewing their vows in Times Square on Tuesday. And down in Miami, lovebirds braving the heat and the injuries to tie the knot on the 14th. Nothing was going to stop me. So I prepared a long time for this and I've been real, real happy. And one couple on Long Island has been really happy for a really long time. You have to have the love, it's the basic. And then you have to look away for a lot of things. And then you become best friends. Alice and Morty Steinberg met in 1948 at a Valentine's Day dance in the Bronx. She was very sweet, she dressed nicely, and she lived close by. <laughs> and now 72 years after their wedding, the Steinbergs are renewing their vows. One of their nine great-grandchildren serving as flower girl. Wonderful, it's crazy. <laughs> So sweet. The Steinberg's children say they attribute their parents' longevity to dad always listening to mom, which is solid relationship advice, I think, always. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.